Hello and welcome to Aviation Buff. Today we are featuring the military muscle helicopter which can bring hell for enemies due to its agility, lethal attack and strike capabilities. None else, it's the Boeing AH-64 Apache attack helicopters. We have B-rolls, technical facts, stunning aerial views, and last but not least the live gunnery and missile fire. So watch till the end, let's roll then. The Boeing AH-64 Apache is a twin turboshaft attack helicopter. It has a tailwheel-type landing gear arrangement, a tandem cockpit for a crew of two. It features a nose-mounted sensor suite for target acquisition and night vision systems. The U.S. Army is the primary operator of the AH-64 Apache. It is served in Panama, the Persian Gulf, Kosovo, Afghanistan, and Iraq conflicts. British and Dutch Apaches have seen deployments in wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. Upon fielding the Apache, its extensive use in night operations made it clear that it was capable of operating beyond the forward line of own troops. The Apache was first used in combat in 1989. It was during Operation Just Cause, the invasion of Panama. It participated in over 240 combat hours, attacking various targets, mostly at night. In October 2018, Boeing began testing the AH-64E Block II compound, a compound helicopter design. The compound Apache features a larger fixed wing and a pusher propeller to the Apache airframe to provide additional lift and thrust, respectively. The compound Apache has been pitched as an interim replacement for the Apache AH-64. Now it's time to have a closer look at this ferocious helicopter. In Apache helicopter, the gunner sits in the front, and the pilot sits behind. Apache's incredible night vision system makes it a lethal attacker in the night operations. One of the revolutionary features of the Apache was its helmet-mounted display, the integrated helmet and display sighting system. With this, either the pilot or gunner can slave the helicopter's 30mm automatic M230 chain gun to their helmet. It makes the gun track head movements to point where they look. In modern AH-64 Apaches, the Target Acquisition and Designation System, or TADS, has been replaced by Lockheed Martin's Arrowhead, or MTADS, targeting system. Just above the main rotor blades, there is a radar dome. It is capable of automatic classification, detection, prioritization of multiple targets. Also, it can automatically cue the weapon system. The AH-64 is powered by two General Electric T-700 turboshaft engines, with high-mounted exhausts on either side of the fuselage. And not the least, it has four wing-mounted weapon stations, which can hold up to 16 laser or radar-guided Hellfire missiles, up to 76 Hydra, 70 general-purpose unguided 70mm rockets. Starting in the 1980s, the Stinger and AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles and the AGM-122 Sidearm Anti-Radiation Missile were evaluated for use upon the AH-64. Apache has maximum speed of 182 miles per hour, cruise speed 165 miles per hour, combat range 300 miles. Its avionics are mostly supported by Lockheed Martin Northrop Grumman and APG-78 Longbow Fire Control Radar. These are Hydra 70mm rockets, which are getting loaded into wing-mounted weapon station. And now the 30mm cannon rounds are getting loaded. And 
now it's time for simulated AGM-114 Hellfire missiles. And now this is live gunnery and missile fires in the test range. During such exercises, armament readiness of Apache AH-64 is being tested. Also it allows pilots and crew members to have highest form of operational readiness for any adversaries or missions. Soldiers assigned to 16th Combat Aviation Brigade fire AGM-114 Hellfire missiles from AH-64E Apache helicopters at Yakima Training Center, Washington. Thank you for watching this video, if you like please share and subscribe to the channel, and also please explore other great content in the channel.